What is up, my mofos? It's me, Mr. Mofo. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best working glitches in Fallout New Vegas in 2024. Max out all your skills in about five minutes at the beginning of the game. So we are straight out of the doctor's office and just follow my path and head northeast. Now for this to work, you will need to have the Old World Blues DLC, but that's the only one you need. And most of you guys probably have the Ultimate Edition, which comes with it. Now you want to follow this path, but you want to stop right here. Do not go past that giant rock. And you want to make two saves just so you have a backup save. So make two different saves just in case you hit save instead of load. So whenever you leave this area, it will ask you if you want to rebuild your character. What we want to do is try to get the pit boy up in front of that screen. So we're going to move slightly forward as we drop the pit boy. So we're not moving when we pull up the pit boy we're just holding forward as we're dropping it and moving as little as possible and then pulling it back up and doing it again. We're trying to get the rebuild character screen to pop up in front of the pit boy. Now this will take you guys a couple of tries. It is a little hard to hit but not that hard. So that was a failed attempt. All you have to do is load your save back and that's why we made that save and we're going to try it again. Now whenever you do finally hit it, it's very important that you have the most of the pit boy up as you can. The more it is up and showing, the more skill points you will be able to put. So pull it up and move slightly forward as you're dropping it. This is what you're trying to get. It doesn't need to be this much up on the screen, but every time you hit rebuild character, it will drop slightly in the background. So on this screen, just put the points anywhere. It doesn't matter. You will be able to set them where you want them at the end of this. Now on this screen, it doesn't matter either. I'm just going to put the bottom three just for the sake of the video but you will be upgrading all of these at once. Now the next screen is what matters the most. You want to put skilled and then whichever one you want to use, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is you choose skilled. Now just hit done and you will have the option to rebuild the character again. And if you notice that the pit boy will drop slightly more, but we also have five points extra in all of our skills. So do the same thing again. So the first two don't matter. Just put skilled in whichever one you want and then hit rebuild the character again put your points wherever you want and we're just going to do this over and over again and as you can see all my skills keep going up every time I do this so now I'm going to fast forward it just keep doing it until you can almost not see your pit boy and then we'll talk about it when we get to that point but as you can see all my skills keep going up five points every time I do this so you can max them out very easily so if your pit boy was up enough, you will be able to get them all maxed out to 100, just like this, and that's the max that you can do. When your pit boy is almost gone, you want to set your points how you want them. So for me, I'm just going to put 7 in strength and 8 in my intelligence and leave all of the other ones at 5, but you can put them however you want. And then when you're done, you can also set these however you want. I'm just going to put it the same, but it does not matter. Then we're just going to hit done. We will get that rebuild screen one more time and then all we have to do is hit finish and that's pretty much it now just save the game and you're good to go fallout new vegas infinite ammo and use any ammo type in any weapon you want so let's say that you want to use rockets all you have to do is encrypt anything that uses type of ammo that you want so in my case i'm going to use the red flare which is a rocket launcher I'm going to encrypt it or the red glare I mean I'm gonna hold RB to pull up the hotkey and I'm going to scroll with my stick over to the ammo still holding the hotkey and then hit right on my d-pad and encrypt it to a hotkey and then let go of the hotkey so now you have the ammo inside of a hotkey just choose any weapon that you want so I'm just gonna encrypt any gun and then back out and hit right on my d-pad and now I will have the rockets equipped to this weapon. So I'm going to use it on these fiends. As you can see I am now shooting rockets instead of my normal ammo. And you can do this with any weapon and if you have the Lonesome Road DLC then you will get infinite ammo and I will show you that in a minute. As you can see, I was able to do it with this weapon as well, just by encrypting it and hitting right on my D-pad. Now, if you get the laser detonator, 
out of the Lonesome Road DLC, you will have infinite ammo. So if I hit right on my D-pad, it now says one of one and I have infinite ammo. So very easy, just use that hotkey glitch and hotkey the ammo and you're good to go. How to one hit kill anything on the game with any melee weapon that you want. So with this glitch, you will make any melee weapon that you want in Fallout New Vegas extremely powerful as you can see this one only does six damage and I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna show you I can one hit kill anything in the game so I'm at the gun runners you will need to have a fat man and a couple of mini nukes and this is where you can buy them so this is very easy to do guys so I'm just gonna go in here I'm gonna buy the fat man and I'm gonna buy a couple of these mini nukes and these are the ones you want you want the Tiny Tots Mini Nuke. Once you have that, you want to go inside your Pit Boy and you want to encrypt it. Hit RB to pull up the hotkey. And if you notice when I hit right on the D-pad, that it does put it in the hotkey, but that's not what we want. We want to keep holding the hotkey and scroll over with our stick. And we want to put the nukes inside of the hotkey. So we're still holding the hotkey. Go to the nuke and hit right on your D-pad and let go of the hotkey. So now you have the nukes in the hotkey. All you have to do is go back inside your inventory and encrypt any melee weapon that you want. Then back out and hit whatever hotkey that you put the mini nukes in. And if you look on the bottom of the screen, it now says TT. And now the damage is 100.6 times 9. And it says it's using the mini nuke. So very simple and very easy. Now you can literally hit anything in the game with one hit and it will be killed. As you can see I was able to take out a Deathclaw in one hit. Fallout New Vegas Infinite Caps Exploit or Glitch. Now with this glitch you will be able to make millions of caps extremely fast. Now you will need to have 33,000 chips in order to get this to work. But I'm also going to show you guys a very easy way to do this and that is the method I'm doing in the background. So if you come over to the gun runners just outside of New Vegas, all you have to do is shoot at them or pick the gate. If you shoot at them they will open up the gate. If you go around the corner, you want to kill the ones outside and loot them. All of the gear sells pretty good. And to get them to spawn back, all you have to do is go over and sleep anywhere and you can use this location. It's pretty convenient and we're just going to sleep for three days and that will cause them all to spawn back there will be two outside and one inside but I don't ever go inside I just get the ones that are outside after you sleep three days just fast travel back over to the gun runners and they will be spawned back and then you can take them out again and pick up all of their gear and then you can sell it now if you're a low level like me and none of the shops have much caps you can actually use the Lonesome Road DLC and you don't even have to start it, just go to the beginning of it. So this is where you want to go, you want to follow this path and go inside of this silo. Go inside and go to the right, you will need to open up the door with that terminal and then activate this robot so that he follows you and then he will unlock this and then you can sell all of your stuff here. And every time you get them down to I think it's 80 caps all you have to do is back out and go back inside and they will have 6,000 or 12,000 caps so if they had 12,000 caps for you the first time and they only have six just back out and open it back up and they will have 12,000 caps again but that's a very easy way to sell all of your gear once you have the 33k in caps you're going to make your way into the tops casino that's inside of New Vegas and make your way up to this lady. Make sure you only have 33,000 caps and you want to exchange them all for chips a thousand at a time. So exchange caps for chips and then choose a thousand and keep doing that until you can no longer do it. Now just back out and check your inventory and make sure you have 33,000 of them and then make a save. So make a new save just in case they glitch to the floor on this next step. Now jump up on the counter and you want to angle it to where the chips will fall on the counter and drop them all. When you pick them up, you should see that it says a negative number. And they are glitched out. Now just go to I'd like to turn in my chips at the bottom and hit I'd like to take my payment in caps. And keep doing that over and over again and you will get paid every time you do it. As you see at the top of my screen, I am getting 32,000 caps every time. 
Do this for about three or four minutes and you will have over two million caps. It's that easy guys. You will never need money again or caps again in this game. Showing you guys how to do the ammo sprint glitch. And using this we can skip straight to New Vegas and I'm going to show you guys that as well. So you will need to have a gun that shows the action of reloading like a revolver and two different ammo types so that you can switch between them. Basically you want to be moving forward with your stick. You're going to hit up on the d-pad so that it switches the ammo and starts putting the different ammo type in as you are moving and then start spamming the button to pull up your pit boy at the same time that it's reloading. When you get the pit boy to pull up you're just going to take the weapon off and drop the pit boy still pushing forward and it will launch you a very far distance. So let's do that again. We're going to push up on the D-pad to switch the ammo type. While we are moving forward, we're going to pull up the pit boy, unencrypt the weapon, and still pushing forward, we're going to drop the pit boy, and you will be launched. Now that sounds difficult, but once you get the hang of it, it is very easy and you don't even have to think about it. So switch ammo while you're moving, and then pull up the pit boy, unencrypt the weapon, and still while you're pushing forward, you're going to drop the pit boy after you unencrypt the weapon. Now you will get launched in the air sometimes. All you have to do is right before you hit the ground, just pause it and then make a new save and then load that save back and you should not take as much fall damage or just take no fall damage. As you can see, all I have to do is load it and I saved it when I was about five feet from the ground and I did not take no damage. So you're just swapping your ammo when you're sprinting and then spamming to pull up your pit boy when it is reloading and then unencrypt the weapon and drop the pit boy when you're pushing forward. It's that easy guys. Now I'm right at the beginning of the game and normally it would be almost impossible to get through all of these death claws and get over to New Vegas. But if you use this launch glitch or sprint glitch you can easily get past them and they will not even be able to catch you at all. And going straight to New Vegas, you can skip about four hours of gameplay. So here we go. I'm just going to keep doing it. And you will see right there is a death claw. All I have to do is sprint forward, swap my ammo with up on the D pad, and then spam to pull up the pit boy, unencrypt the weapon, and then drop the pit boy pushing forward. And I can easily get past all of the death claws. Just keep doing it so they will not be able to catch you. It only takes about three to four times and you will be at New Vegas. Just like that, now we are at the outside of New Vegas and we are almost there. So do it one more time. And that's all you're doing guys, you're just pushing to swap your ammo type while you're sprinting and pulling up the pit boy, you're going to unencrypt the weapon and then push forward and drop the pit boy. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope I was able to help you guys out. Don't forget to show me some love and smash that like button. And if you're new to my channel, maybe even hit that subscribe button. And help me get to my goal of 100,000 subs. Now all you have to do is save it when you get to New Vegas or outside of it. But I will talk to you mofos later.